So when you're weaving in an end, you want to change directions as many times as possible. This creates friction and the more friction the yarn has, then the less likely it is to fall out. So I don't ever stay with one direction. I might go here, then I'll go this way. Then I will loop it around here and bring it through here. I'm trying to stay within this color since this, these two change colors. Um, but if I did not, if I had all the same color, then I'd be going really all over the place. But the more friction you create, the more direction changes you make, the least likely it is that your yarn will come out of the work because as soon as someone sees a loose end, they automatically assume it's unraveling, even if you tied it off really well. But I'm kind of following the way the stitches go. And I like to kind of loop it around itself sometimes so that almost creates a knot, but you also don't want to make it too tight. So on my last little bit, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go this way. And then when I bring it back, that's the only time that I'm going to pull it a little bit tight. I'm going to pull it just a little bit tight. You can see it kind of, and then I'll snip it. And then you can't tell at all that anything was weaved in.